My name is Patrick Hello, my name is Patrick Rendefer. I've been an active driver in motor racing for 20 years. To name but a few, I've taken part in the famous 24 hours Nürburgring race eight times and have won twice in my class. Hello, my name is Stefan Stocker. I work in development for IBOC. I design springs and anti-roll bars. Hi Patrick. Hello Stefan. Hi Patrick. Hello, Stefan. Today, we've got two Audi A5s for you, one with the standard chassis and one where we've made a few adjustments. The first step was our Eibach Pro Kit springs. As you can see here on the original car, the gap between the wheel and the fender is quite big. In ours, you can barely fit two fingers. How much did you lower the car? We lowered the car about an inch. That lowers the center of gravity, which improves the steering behavior. Next, we widen the stance with our Eibach Pro Spacers. They're there to increase the driving stability? Exactly. It moves the wheel about half an inch further out, and that gives us much better, more responsive steering behavior. And the final step was our Eibach anti-roll kit, consisting of reinforced sway bars that reduce the wheel load difference. The car doesn't roll as much on the longitudinal axis anymore. Great, that's an excellent package, and I'm looking forward to trying it out in practice. Okay, Patrick, first test, 0 to 62 miles per hour. Great. As agreed, I'll drive both cars in sport mode. That way, the transmission and tuning will be identical and easy to compare. And then we'll take a look at the results. I noticed when I accelerated how the car squats in the rear, which moves the weight to the back. Let's see what happens now. It feels totally different compared to the original car. The Eibach car doesn't squat as much on the rear axle. It stays even, parallel to the road, and obviously that adds to it accelerating far better. A difference of more than nine and a half feet? That's immense. Right, you can see it here. I must say the brakes in the original car are really good, but the modified A5 has greater track stability. It doesn't squat as much, and as we can see, it comes to a halt from 62 miles per hour more than nine and a half feet earlier. So, let's see what kind of lateral acceleration we can achieve here with the stock Audi. We immediately notice the car strongly accelerates via the front wheels, so it's well-tuned in terms of driving safety. In terms of driving dynamics, that's not so impressive because basically what we have here is too much understeer. The car is much easier to handle. It stays in its track better, the lateral acceleration is higher, and the rear is a bit more agile too, so it's far more fun to drive. Right. <laughs> As you can see from the grin on my face, it's a totally different vehicle. The rear follows slightly, but everything's still really safe. Nothing detrimental as far as driving safety goes, but it's simply more agile, giving you a better feel for the car, which makes driving it so much more fun. Yeah, my 
my final feedback is uh, my final feedback is positive throughout. We tested various things today. We were on the test circuit, did a handling lap, did a brake test, and the Eibach modified car made the most of its advantage every time. Hat eigentlich in allen Disziplinen seinen Vorteil vollkommen ausgespielt. Wir haben es messen können. We were able to measure it, but what's more, I was able to experience it. The car moves more dynamically. Its responsiveness is much quicker. Its handling is much better. All these results make you say, hey, that's exactly the product I'd like to have in my car. You don't lose any driving comfort. It feels just like a standard car, but as far as the driving dynamics go, everything's one notch higher. And above all, I must add that it's a lot more fun. I recommend everyone fit their car with these products.